I love them. I love these creatures. It first came to New Zealand on the east coast about 50 years ago. Droma planeta semivita is called the Gisborne cockroach because that's where it was first discovered. Outdoors on the east coast, they are everywhere. But the bug also likes our warm, dry homes, which is why half all the work AAA Services does is because of this one harmless bug. So why are people scared of them, do you know? Well, they're big and they scuttle and they hide in dark places and people move something and they come running out. So they kind of startle people for a start. Um, they're not the most handsome creature in the world, but um, yeah, people just don't like things that scuttle, whether it's a mouse or whether it's a cockroach. And they just don't like things that surprise them. So do you worry if you find a cockroach in your house? No. <laughs> no, I don't worry about them at all. Entomologists agree, there's no reason to be wary of the Gisborne cockroach. If we find the Gisborne cockroach in the house, should we be concerned? No, I wouldn't be concerned at all. These are really cool little things. They probably came from your back garden outside and they thought, hmm, it's getting a bit wintry, maybe too cool. Let's go and stay in a nice warm human home. These guys basically are the best recyclers on the planet. They will turn everything that falls into your garden into perfect NPK, which is fertilizer. Well, if I see one in the house, I tell my wife not to worry because Batman is in place here. You basically pick it up, either with a cup and a piece of paper, you know, and you toss it outside back into your garden because that's where it's most helpful. And why do people freak when they see a cockroach? Because it's a cockroach! It's got to be dirty! If you live in the most dirtiest places on the planet, you've got to make sure that you clean yourself. And that's what they do. Cockroaches are always grooming themselves, always getting rid of all the germs. And basically, that's how they survive, doing the job they need to do. They're not really dangerous. They don't kill any really harmful bacteria, no more harmful than compost. Um, if you have forage around in your garden, weeding without gloves on and just wash your hands normally, they're not harmful as such. They seem to be everywhere. Well, we have vegetation everywhere. Well, people like to have nice vegetation around their homes. They have you know, flax bushes, agapanthers, trees that drop leaves continuously, gum trees, Everything drops vegetation and, you know, cockroaches are part of the process of decomposition. They help break it down and turn it into soil to start it all over again. So they're our friends, the Gisborne cockroach? Well, they are. And just like every other family with embarrassing relatives, the Gisborne cockroach is no exception. Some of its cousins prefer domestic facilities to the great outdoors. There are a number of cockroaches in the world that are kind of on the bothersome side, if you like. And the reason for that is they like to uh, clean up a lot of human-induced waste, like kitchen waste, you know, spaghetti bolognese behind the stove, that sort of stuff. They are also known to sometimes in the wintertime live in sewer systems. And they don't always wash their hands when they travel from the sewer systems into your kitchen. So this is why they got a bad name. The second one is some of these cockroaches are called German cockroaches. And that was even before the World Cup soccer. Can you imagine? They were named already then German cockroaches. Having said that, the German cockroach in Prussia is called the Russian cockroach. And in Russia it's called the Prussian cockroach. So, so they always seem to be naming their cockroaches after their neighbor with whom they have had the most quarrel in the past. Perhaps we should be calling it the Australian cockroach, but nobody knows exactly where it came from. Some say it came on logging ships from Southeast Asia. Some say it came from Western Australia. It now lives mainly on the dry east coast of the North Island, where most people just want it gone when it has the cheek to come inside. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.